Example number 14. You are given A74 and B20. You are asked to find the equation of the line AB. In part B, we have, we have to find the length of AB. In part C, you are given a point. Uh, C is a point 2T such that AC equals AB and you are asked to find the value of T. And finally, in part D, you are asked to find the area of triangle ABC. So let's go through the uh, solution bit by bit. Uh, you are given two points, A and B. Let's find the equation of the line AB. So first off, let's find the gradient of AB using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so uh, A is 7, 4. Okay, B is 2, 0. So using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, 0 minus 4 over 2 minus 7. Clean this up, you'll get the gradient, gradient of AB as 4 over 5. So use the uh, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 to write the equation of AB. Okay, I've uh, picked the point B. Okay, B is 2, 0. So y1 will be 0. That's what you see here, y minus 0. The gradient 4 over 5 times x minus x1. x1 is 2. So clean this up. Use a calculator and you'll get the equation of AB as y equals to 4 over 5x minus 8 over 5. Now I like to write it in uh, general form. Multiply by 5 throughout. On the left hand side you will get 5y equals 4x minus 8. So bring the 5y to the right. You can get your final equation. Uh, the equation of the line AB in general form. Uh, 4x minus 5y minus 8 equals to 0. Okay, This is the equation of the line AB. Good. Uh, we have to find the length of AB. So we have to use the distance formula. So let me write the distance formula. If you have P, X1, Y1, and let's say you have Q, X2, Y2, then P, Q, the formula is given by X1 minus X2, whole thing squared, plus Y1 minus Y2, whole thing squared. Okay. So this is the formula uh, we use to find the distance between two points. So let's go ahead and find AB. Okay, we know A is seven four, and we know B is two zero. So use this formula. I've done it for you. Go through it. Okay. Uh, 2 minus 7 squared, 0 minus 4 squared. You clean this up, you'll get uh, 25 plus 16, and you'll get AB equals the square root of 41. Good. And then they gave me a point C. Yeah? C is 2T. And uh, they gave me that AC equals to AB. So let's use the distance formula again for AC. Okay, so uh, remember A is, let me write it here again so we can easily follow. A is 7, 4, and C is 2T. So take 2 minus 7 squared, T minus 4 squared. Okay, and don't forget to write the square root. Okay, the square root of 2 minus 7 holding squared plus T minus 4 holding squared. And you know they gave us this AC is equals to AB and we found AB is the square root of 41 so this one here is AB so all you have to do is clean up the algebra okay follow carefully okay um, you can clean this up okay here we have uh, 2 minus 7 whole thing squared is uh, 25 25 plus 16 uh, you will get 41 here and inside the brackets, inside the brackets, we have t squared minus 8t. Okay, so clean this up slowly, 
and you will get the square root of t squared minus 8t plus 41 equals to the square root of 41. Square both sides, you will get t squared minus 8t plus 41 equals to 41. So you will get t squared minus 8t equals to 0. Factorize t times t minus 8 equals to 0. And the question they told me that t is bigger than 0. So the value of t equals to 8. Uh, we are asked to find the area of triangle ABC. So let's go ahead and uh, have a quick sketch. Uh, look at it. I've got uh, point B, 2, 0. I've got point C, 2, 8. And I've got point A, which is 7, 4. To find the area of this triangle, we'll use half base times height. Okay, this is my base. How much is my base? 8. Yeah, because this is 0. Excuse me. This is the x axis. And c is 2, 8. Therefore, the height will be just 8. The base, excuse me. Uh, the base, uh, let me say that again. Yeah, I'm looking at triangle ABC. I have the coordinates of B, 2, 0. I have the coordinates of C, 2, 8. And I've got the coordinates of A, 7, 4. So, I'm using the formula half base times height to find the area of this triangle ABC. So, my base here will be just 8 minus 0 will be 8. That's my base. My height, okay, the height here will be, okay, this is my height, and this will be 7 minus 2 will be 5. So, now I can write the area of the triangle half base times height, half times 8 times 5, you'll get 20 unit squared.